curious and unusual. Up next, how was this man killed by his own possessions? March 21st, 1947, Harlem, New York. Finding the front door barricaded, police are forced to enter through a second story window. Hello, Langley, hello, hello Langley, are you there? They have been called to the well-known Collier Brownstone, owned by brothers Langley and Homer Collier. A neighbor has complained of a horrid smell, but all they find inside are mountains of useless objects and something more disturbing in the second floor bedroom. Homer Collier, he was dead and likely had been for days. How did he die? And how did this historic brownstone become buried in worthless junk? The two of them were from a very wealthy family. And they moved to this brownstone in the early 1900s, 1909. In truth, it's just Langley who was a hoarder. There's no, no evidence that Homer actually collected things to the same extent that Langley did. Homer was blind and bedridden, and Langley was his caretaker by day. But by night, he would leave his home to hoard. Langley never threw anything away. Over 15 years, he had amassed over 120 tons of seemingly useless objects. Mostly newspapers, wrapped up newspapers, but also other things. There were uh, bed springs, uh, parts of a horse and buggies, parts of old Model T cars, anything imaginable. It's a... But Langley's hoarding had a darker side. He had become anxious and paranoid of the outside world. Now, this is something that sometimes happens with people who are they, they begin to look a little bit suspicious or a little bit paranoid about other people. People like his neighbors, who Langley was convinced were trying to steal his collected treasures. So he set up a complex network of booby traps all around the brownstone, triggering anything from crude alarms to deadly falling objects. It may have seemed excessive, Langley understood this strategy and built his traps for maximum impact. Booby traps can be the civilian's best friend in protecting hearth and home from invaders. But one of the great fears in using a booby trap is that it'll be forgotten, it'll be left behind. It is very easy to be destroyed by your own booby trap. Homer couldn't take care of himself. Homer basically starved. Uh, he, he eventually died of a heart attack, but they think that might have been brought on by starvation. Um, so they, he, he probably died knowing what happened to Langley only 10 feet away. The Collier's brownstone was so crammed with objects that police had to carry Homer out of the second floor window. Langley remained buried for three more weeks until December 20th, 1947, when workmen were sent in to clean up the over 100 tons of hoarded treasures. Oh, get somebody over here. Langley's decaying body had been discovered. Yeah. Langley Collier was obsessed with collecting, but he did not know that the crown jewel would be a curious and unusual death. that no amount of trash is worth dying for. 